You know what? I'm going home first. I'd rather not explain myself. Just enjoy your meal. Here. Now this much is probably enough to pay for everything, and there might just be extra if I calculated correctly. I told you already. I'm not hungry. I don't think you're going to get lost on your way home, right? You're not that uncoordinated. Well then, see you later. You- I told you not to touch me so casually like that! Let go. Oh, you little- Shit. She's going to recognize me at this point. God damn it. I'll leave the money here. Come with me. Now, what was that all about? You what? Speak up. Why would you feel bad if you were left alone like that? You know you're an oddball, aren't you? You just left it all there for someone else to eat now, just because you didn't want me to leave. What? Yeah, what about her? Friend, you say? It's ex-friend. <laughs> My mother told you all about her. <sighs> Figures. She's not just pretty. That girl's a whole package. If only if it weren't for her obsession with her little sunshine and that weird coping mechanism of hers. It's nothing. It's not worth discussing. Like her. Me? She's my first love. How much did mother tell you exactly? That's not a lot of details there, sweet stuff. Okay, enough. You do know then. That's V. V told them. Her parents sell my family's business partners. What do you mean like me? Obviously not. V is free as a bird. Not really tied down to her family or anything. She does whatever she wants. Yes, she comes from a very prosperous family. Although usually they would be uptight with the future of the children. V's an exception. Probably because she really doesn't need to try much. Her parents aren't worrying about her that much because she's as responsible as they come. I told you she's a whole package, right? She's pretty, smart, kind, charismatic. Not to mention wise. She knows exactly what she's doing at most times. Only downfall is that one weakness of hers. The person that she loves. Yes, her little sunshine. That's the love of her life. Only problem is because she knows that she could never have her. She does reckless stuff. Flirting with everyone. Even if it's a person that she's remotely a tiny bit interested in. <sighs> Just to distract herself. She can't. Because the person that she loves loves someone else. I uh, wanted to do something for her during that time because I saw. I saw the hint of sadness in her eyes as she looked at her little sunshine. That's why I tried to do something. Of course, you know how that ended up. I lied to her that I did it because I liked both Moon and her little sunshine though. Because if I told her I did it for her, she's going to blame herself for it. And she's going to carry that with her till the end. I can't have that for her. The possibility of her looking at me romantically is close to zero. I know for a fact that she will only love her little sunshine and her only. Her eyes can't lie. <sighs> well, I just wanted to make her happy. But I was too blinded by my obsession that I failed to see the people around me. In the end, I just ruined the friend group. Even though they all welcomed me and treated me kindly when I joined them. Huh? I still like her. 
It's going to take time for me to move on from her. Even now, I still love her. I can't apologize to her yet. I don't exactly have the courage to face it yet, and I'm not ready either. Doing something like that. Hurting the person that she loved the most. Ruining the friendship. She's probably... No. She's most likely hurting even now. I'll do that once I start acting like a normal human being. And of course, when things calm down. What I'm saying is, I need to take a step back and slowly change myself for the better. Are you surprised? Approaching them right now won't help solve the situation. Rather, it will just make it worse. Since they all hate my guts for doing what I did. They need time. I need time. Change does not happen overnight. Mother probably got concerned because she assumed I'd fall deep into that pit of destructiveness. I'm aware now, at least, of what the consequences of my actions were. Don't take pity on me. It was my fault. I caused that misunderstanding intentionally and there's no excuse for what I did. I'm aware of that now. Of course, after hearing those words from her, all I can do is fight my inner demons and tackle my flaws one step at a time. Help. Me? You'll help me. You? Now why would you do that for me, sweet stuff? Have you perhaps fallen in love with me? Wait, what? You don't know? So you're not denying it? <laughs> you really are a peculiar one, aren't you? Oh, are you trying to score points from me? You should be doing that to my mother. Oh, for someone who is passive before, you sure are starting to be assertive right now. D don't... Huh? That's... weird. You holding my hand isn't making me uncomfortable as much as before anymore. That is quite interesting. Alright then. I'll agree to you helping me then, sweet stuff. Oh, sorry about that. Is the timid soldier of my mother getting upset with me because I'm not calling her by her name? Okay then, sweet Mars. Well, it reminds me of that sweet... Oh, the chocolate bar! <laughs> What's wrong with you? Did me saying your name got you all flustered like that? <laughs> oh, you are so easy to read. Also, have you come to a realization that you just wasted your reward? <laughs> what adult. Let's go stop at a convenience store on our way home. I mean what I said. I swear, if you ask me one more time, I'm buying you something spicy instead. Good, we should suffer then. Come on, let's go. Hmm. How unusual indeed. Oh, it's nothing. Don't worry about it. Maybe we should just practice today. There's still time. I'm messing about. Looking forward to working and being friends with you, sweet stuff. We're almost graduating, aren't we? I transferred in the most awkward time, didn't I? Well, que sera sera. Time will just continue to move and never stops. We'll graduate before we know it. And after that, we'll enter high school, go to college, find a job or whatever. It just keeps going. Life just keeps going. Well, time really does fly fast, huh? It only felt like yesterday we were talking about graduating. My audition. Oh. Oh. Actually, the truth is there was no audition to begin with. I just wanted to practice with someone. My bad, sweet stuff. You were just so fun to tease. But I have to admit, it did help. 
I'm grateful you tried your best to bite it not being your forte. But you did drastically improve, so... I don't know. Maybe you could try it out if you want. Quick question, though. Where are you going after this? I meant that in a general sense, by the way. Are you still going to continue with your job in being my mother's timid soldier? I do recall you said that a few months ago. You helping me. Oh, how loyal of you to do so. I thought you were loyal to my mother. So, does that mean you're going to the same high school as me then? Are you really that interested in me? <laughs> Is that a confession? Are you messing about? You're not going to get a reaction out of me, sweet stuff. Yeah, yeah, Sirius is a clown. Come on, let's head back home. I'll go order us something fancy as a celebration. Hmm? Yeah? <sighs> You're really doing this. You like me, you say? I'm sorry. What? <laughs> oh bloody hell, I really did find my source of amusement, didn't I? More than I bargained for, oh god. <laughs> I'm not taking it lightly, sweet stuff. I apologize for laughing, I just got taken aback by what you said. You'll make it so that I'll fall for you. My standards are... A high, high, you know. Have you seen V? I mean, yes, you're pretty. But V is in a whole new other level. She's gorgeous. Not to mention her sweet smile. <sighs> hmm? Are you already losing your drive? Aww. Well, okay, I heard you. Good luck. I guess you don't need to shout it like that. Personally, I don't mind. Besides, you don't make me uncomfortable, at least. And you said you'll help me become a better person, right? Good. My mother? Oh, she's already told me. She's surprised, but she's happy that you're a good influence to me. Thank you. I said thank you, sweet stuff. You need to clean your ears. Let's go home. Yeah. What's up? <laughs> Bold, are we? Stealing my first kiss like that. <laughs> it's fine. It's a new experience, at least. And it felt... weirdly sweet. Did you eat something sweet again? Oh, figures. Come on, I'm looking forward to you trying to seduce me, sweet stuff. <laughs> what are you blushing for? Despite taking the initiative, you're the one whose face is red. Oh, you are hilarious. Also, tone it down with eating sweets. You're going to get sick from eating too much. Don't take the nickname I call you seriously, sweet stuff. Why do you have a feeling that you're going to order so much sweet stuff again later? Oh god. But it is a celebration, so might as well. <laughs>